Hello everyone, welcome back to Pause from Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Let's do a daily challenge today. It's like it is, is oh, what? Oh, it's Polyon. I thought for a second it was a Azazel, but uh, it is, oh. That's Toxic Shock, I don't think I can void that. Yeah, I don't, if I voided that, it would just give me a stat up, and I don't think I want that, I think I would rather have this. Uh, that's also one of his items. The Locust of Pestilence. I believe what this does is every time you enter a new room with enemies, it spawns a little familiar, and that familiar, that fly, can go and seek out, uh... Wow, uh, those are amazing shots from those critters. Um, yeah, it'll seek them out. I think this one does poison damage, or maybe it does, um... A slowing effect. And I believe it carries room to room. This one's probably poison because it's green, but yeah, I, think, I believe it carries room to room. Um, so you can stack up a couple of them if they don't get used. Should be an interesting, uh, setup here. I need to be careful health-wise, though. Because it looks like I'm not getting any hearts back on this floor. Uh, hearts please? No, that is not hearts. Alright, that's a little concerning. Definitely can't go to the curse room. Uh, if I go to get a shop, it's not going to give me any benefits, so I guess we just go fight the boss and hope for the best. Larry Jr., which is actually going to get super, um, super damaged by Toxic Shock, fortunately. It kind of saved me a little bit of time. Um, I need to kind of keep my max distance here, if possible, just because my health is just really low from my own foolishness. Nice. Uh, there we get a heart, and... Oh, you know what? I should've just, uh... Bet these are all bad pills. Nope, tears upgrade. That's a tears upgrade, what's this? Uh, so now I only have a half a red heart because, uh, Bad Trip hurt me there, which is kind of a bummer. Um, definitely should've avoided that. I guess we'll just go down. Uh, I feel like this run's gonna end in disaster real fast. If it does, I'll probably do... Um, I'll probably do the practice run to see where it would have gone. Uh, though it is a normal mode, only mom only run, so I mean, it's it's possible. I just basically have to play like the Lost here for the next, uh, next little bit until I get some sort of health consumable. All it will take though is like one spider jumping further than I expect it, and that's gonna be the end of me here. Or accidentally, yeah, there we go. Cherry will help quite a bit, actually. Uh, at least I can kind of have, oh, thank goodness, Spirit Heart. Uh, this will actually help me get the deal with the devil, too. So that's, one of these is a library? Or what was this? Was this a bomb room? It is, okay. Uh, but yeah, let's check out the item room, see what we got here. I don't think I want to avoid this either. Conehead, I believe, gives you a Spirit Heart. I think it also has, like, a... Um, the cancer item effect or something like that. Strange that there's really not any uses for the void here, unless I'm, I'm missing something, but I don't think so. Uh, I would love to get a bomb here. Getting, ooh, that's actually really good. Uh, do I want that over the pestilence fly though? I think so for this floor. Actually, I'd probably just swap it out right after this room. Again, these stone guys don't hurt you, they just kind of get in your way. I think the Pestilus Fly is actually really useful. So I will take that back since we don't have any more, uh, stuff to break out. Love a bomb. I mean, I'm almost tempted to go into the shop. Uh, again. Is there? Oh boy. Okay. Is there a bomb in here? five cents, of course. And there's two bombs. A two bomb door. How would I get those? Pin should be relatively easy. Unfortunately, the fly hit the, the little guy there. I don't think I'll use my chariot card here. Strange, strange run. I feel like there's probably some sort of uh, secret early on that I, I've missed. Alright, so we get growth hormones, which is a, a good upgrade. Okay, I don't know what, like, any of these are. I mean, I know what brimstone is, but what's what's this one? 
Yeah, what is this? Plan C, use with caution. I have no idea what that does. So let's pick up this first. I mean, brimstone is the obvious, but I don't know what this is, so I kind of want it. Loss is power. Okay. Uh, what does plan C do? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, it killed me. Um, pardon? Uh, what? <laughs> did I just... Did I just abort myself? That's... God damn it, guys. Uh, let's... Yeah, we'll do the practice run. So, plan C is apparently a bad idea. I think that's literally what I just did. I think I actually just aborted myself. Um, that's awful. <laughs> what the hell? Um, might actually just die right at the start, because this guy is apparently like a champion version. This is actually kind of insane. Um, okay, well that's actually really good. I don't think... If I void this, what happens? I think it just uses it. I don't think I can use it a second time. I can see forever. Okay, so this is probably where... This is probably the big... The big hook. Getting... Into that curse room is probably what chains you into everything else here. Maybe there's some bombs in the second secret room. Yeah, so plan C is a bad idea. I wonder what benefit that item has then. I mean, if, I suppose if you have a respawn, but what does it actually do? Will it clear a room for you? Because if you die, the room's just gonna reset, right? Maybe it clears the room beforehand? I don't know. Uh, can't do anything with that. Hmm, curious. So I guess, I guess the proper play there is take, um... I guess just Brimstone? I don't know what that loss is power thing is. I'm assuming, like, the less health you have, maybe, the more powerful it is. Like, you get damage boost or something like that. Oh, the, the pestilence on that, uh, on that fly seems to chain. Just out of curiosity, let's void this this time. So I got damage... Uh, there were two tiers upgrades in there before, though, right? That's probably the better option. Oh, and there's a, a boss arena room here, too. Was that there last time? Am I crazy? Did I just totally bypass that the first time? Because I would have got, been able to get into it. Wait, no, because the first time there was a double bomb door here, right? The floor is actually different? Yeah, the seed seems to have diverged a little bit. How strange. I guess from going to the curse room is what caused that. Huh. Well, we still have the tinted rock here that I can't do anything with. So is petrified poop still here? Yeah, yeah, so we'll pick that up and clear these. And then we'll switch back. The Pestilence Fly actually seems really, really good that it it chains. I'd like to save it for the boss, but I don't think it's going to happen. Should be able to get one, though. These guys are super annoying. Oh my god, there we go. Alright, pin time. Alright, saved it this time, so maybe we can get the, the fly to hit pin and do a little bit of extra poison damage. There we go. So I guess I'll just take Brimstone this time. So I'm still only going to have the two hearts. Um, I definitely don't want to void Plan C for sure. Don't know what that other one is. Um, yeah, I guess... I guess we just take Brimstone. Hmm. I was actually also down a room that time, because I didn't get the charge back. Maybe I hadn't used Void last time. So essentially, if I wanted to win that run guaranteed, I would have just taken Brimstone, but I decided to play the, uh, the strange route. So let's not take a brimstone that takes a few hours to charge on this run.
Oh, right, I can actually pay attention to this. Last thing I did was the uh, April's Fool Challenge, so I'm so used to my map just being a big old lie. There's a bomb, finally. We do have a battery charge, so we could use the void on something here. Not gonna be in the shop, we should find the item room. Maybe we can, uh... I have eight keys, I certainly don't need that. Bombs are a precious commodity right now. There we go. Uh, two battery charges, actually. And... That's a tough start to a room there. Uh, do I want to potentially... Yeah, maybe this will have a bomb in it. Does it? Oh, it actually has four bombs in it. How nice. Sure, I'll open this. Oh! Uh, no, I definitely want this. I definitely don't want to void this, because that'll just give me a stat upgrade. It won't give me the actual flying effect. There we go. It's certainly worth it. Uh, item room has to be connected here, right? Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, it can't be that many rooms left. Half a red heart. What do we got? Uh, Charm of the Vampire? No. We'll avoid that. So I got damage and uh, rate of fire. That's actually a really good void. So I do have a bunch of bombs now. There's one seeker. This has more bombs in it. All right. Uh, I should take a battery charge on the way here. Don't think it's worth going into the shop. Uh, this actually can't be the second seeker, so I have no idea where it is. Here you shouldn't be too bad. Damage isn't super great, so it'll take a little while, but... At least the, uh, spawn flies will not be an issue. And Isaac has crashed. Oh, no it hasn't. I was incorrect. That was very strange. Just froze for a second there. Um, I know they're still working out some, some bugs. I hope they do get that solved, though. Alright, we get PJs. I'll definitely take those. I wonder what it was actually causing that. Because I didn't use an item or anything that time. Oh dear. Uh the the music stopped? Oh well this is certainly bizarre. Wait. What? Why was I not taking damage on the Is that the the cone head effect? Is it pr is it like a holy mantle effect? This is very bizarre to me. I am entirely unaware of what is going on. Let's check double key room. Ah, uh, no, no, I don't think I'm gonna reroll the whole run. Not when I've already failed it once. If I got to this point uh, without failing, I probably would. All right, item room contains. Yeah, we'll just we'll just eat that for more damage. Also, you notice that the Pandora's box only gets used once. Um, any consumable items, if they're taken with void, don't uh, don't actually retain. I thought I'd try it anyway, but uh, I believe I think that was like the first patch that sorted that out. Otherwise, uh, basically, if you got Diplopia, everything went a little bananas. go. I'm uh, taking a ton of unnecessary damage here. Safe of spades. Oh, that converted all the items in the room, I guess. I will take black candle. I'll buy a spirit heart because I don't trust myself. Black candle also gave me a bit of a devil deal chance there. So I'm up to 75% for this floor. The dark one. Shouldn't be too hard. The, uh, the lack of the glow on my cone head as I'm firing here is kind of entertaining. Uh, yes, because maybe I can spend two hearts in here. I don't know what that is, so we'll take it. And hopefully it won't just outright kill me. Eye of Belial, Possessed Tears. I'm guessing that's probably not going to work with 
brimstone, but maybe it does. I wonder what that possessed tears. What that does. Look for golden chests. Uh, red chests are pretty good. No, 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 we're not doing that again. That is plan C again. Yeah, definitely not doing that. I'm sure there are some crazy things you can do with that item, but uh... Potentially, no, you can't get a respawn on this run, I don't think. At least I haven't seen a way to get one yet. Got an item in here? Uh, nope. I actually don't know what that does. So let's stick with the Locust of Pestilence. Locust of Pestilence actually seems pretty good. Very powerful for a, uh, a trinket. I probably won't do boss rush unless I get a crazy combo just because my score is meaningless at this point. It would easily make it though. Got one floor left and we're only halfway up the timer. Toxic Shock is uh, also a very strong item. Tower. Okay. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of portals in this room. It's actually, it, it's funny because I usually don't think of normal mode being that much easier, but you can really see that uh, <laughs> these floors are way, way easier. You got this far and didn't accidentally uh, end yourself. I, this is actually a very, very easy run. I'm sure there are some good secrets, though, to get high scores here. Has there been a sacrifice room? If there has... Oh, there is on this floor, actually. I probably should have just voided that. I don't really actually want it. Um, yeah, there is a sacrifice room here. Would I be able to... Do I have enough health to do that? No, I don't think so. Or do I? Hmm... Maybe after this boss, we'll play around with that. How much damage does, uh... Actually, it does a lot of damage. I guess we will take the health. We'll come in here, and we'll get... the Pact. With this much health, I think I might be able to have enough because you'll get like a partial reset partway through it. So maybe this is the the way to get a lot of points on this run. Let's try it. Why not, right? It doesn't count anymore, so no risk. All right, we feel blessed. That's gonna teleport me to the deal with the devil. Should get some... Ooh, that only gave me one. That's a bunch of bombs. Actually, don't think I'm going to have enough. There's one angel statue. Um, in fact, what I think I'll do here is kill it with Blue Baby's only friend here. Yeah, so I'm not gonna actually have enough health to do this, unfortunately. Spirit Heart Pow just wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, we'll go to the next floor. Maybe there'll be... I can check out the shop. Oh, it's a library. Oh! Actually, watch this. What I can do here is I can use these, and then when I void them, I'll get them again. Um, are there any battery charges on this floor? There is, so I can actually get a whole, uh, another set of hearts here. Ooh, don't pick up that, and don't use the void in here. Alright, so we'll get that again. So we, essentially what we did was we have all of the books now, um, in our void. 
Now the curiosity here is there... What was the shop? Shop is greed, right? I think I have enough hearts to do it now, though. I think, I think. Uh, I should, actually. There shouldn't be too many more to... Oh, this actually gave me a ton. So it was actually this level that was going to give me all the spirit hearts. It was actually only one off, even if I didn't get that reset. Oh, we'll actually use Blue Baby's only friend here again. This actually does seem to do more damage. Strangely enough. I guess it does use your own tier damage, so... I'm actually getting a weird... What well, lowered my tier delay again? I think I missed that. It seems like we're super low, I'm like accidentally firing brimstone shots here. All right, so that'll be a second key piece, and this should actually teleport me down to the Mega Satan floor now. Or down to the dark room. Except that there is no Mega Satan here. Uh, pardon? Is. Is that. Do they move it? Is it not always at the first door now? Or on the first room? Or do they change how the teleport works? This is very strange to me. I guess maybe the door just isn't always on the first room anymore? Hmm. Well, we'll start exploring. Maybe the lamb is here instead of Mega Satan in this case? I think the cone head like stores up damage charges or something. Cause like I definitely just got hit by a bullet there and it didn't hurt me. So many strange things I don't know about the, the new expansion yet. Oh, uh, we have an I can see forever, so I don't oh. Big horn is actually brutal for just a room here. He has a, a just a ton of health. Let's see if I can use uh this to my advantage here. That's probably the better option. Oh, watch out for that. Oh, those are just gonna kinda bounce around, huh? Oh my, firebombs. I don't know if he can't hit himself with his own firebombs. Oh, those do kind of chase, but they also bounce. That's a little different. I think I understand that now. I really need this one to go away. Oh, some of them do just bounce, and some of them... Is there a visual difference on those? There we go. That's a really tough room. Or just a, just a room as opposed to, you know, like an actual boss fight. I'm actually kind of in danger of dying here. I, I still don't know how Conehead works. Maybe it's just a, um, like a Mask of Infamy effect. Sometimes you just don't take damage. I'll actually use this tower card here to try to buy myself some free damage. And it did work. It charges very fast. I'm at 15 uh, tier delay here. There we go. Go in our secret room. Secret room is just uh, some mushrooms. And a pill that is range down. Does absolutely nothing. Yeah, so what is? Oh my God! What? Six polycephaluses? But they seem to be very low health ones. What a strange room this is. It's not quite quite eight blast assist, but it's uh, it's pretty insane. Surprisingly, I've only gotten hit once in this room here. I will go void first the tower before we go any further. That gave me a speed upgrade. It's actually good too because I got the hearts from my books that are in the void. If I can line both these guys up, still, Blue Baby's only friend is definitely doing more damage than I am. Uh, if I get some battery charges here, this would be nice. Double Monster 2 is, is always a little difficult. Just because there's just so much on the screen. And again, my damage is just not really that great. 
I really wish he would stop jumping for a little while, though. That would, that would help. Or if one of these would finally die here, that would also be a, a big benefit. Come on. Come on. They both gotta be almost dead. This one go. <laughs> they're both They're gonna get down to this last little bit. Unless they share a health pool. I don't think so, though. There we go. Finally get out of there. Uh, Eternal Heart doesn't really do much for me. I think it'll it'll absorb one hit, though. Uh, depending on what this Wheel of Fortune is, can Wheel of Fortune spawn battery charges? I don't think it can, can it? Alright, we'll just blow it up. Uh, oh! Oh, that's actually probably good. That kind of gives me the uh, the wafer effect, doesn't it? Well, if I survive for four more rooms here, I'll be in okay shape. Just a matter of getting that far. Trying to fire and control this at the same time is a little confusing. Bombs. Bombs do not help me here. That, uh, that big horn room really kind of set me back quite a ways. I, I guess we're just going to the lamb boss fight. I wonder what the purpose... I mean, I'm assuming on a regular run it would still teleport you and have Mega Satan available. Just maybe not on uh, a daily run anymore. Oh, there we go. There goes one of them. Uh, unfortunately, he is... Uh, faster than I am, or as fast at least. Double champion version uh, is a little rough on this room. Alright, we should be okay now, but my health is in dire straits to say the least. I think the first hit will take the eternal heart, so I have one time I can get hit here. I'm not getting anything, like no chest, nothing. If I can make it through this room... Um, nope, that actually just killed me. Bummer. Alright, well, I don't know how that teleport works anymore, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Um, curiosity on the leaderboard here. Oh, I didn't do yesterday's. I don't have a recorded... Uh, for a couple of these, when it, it, it crashed. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It's kind of a strange video, but anyway... Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope you learned not to use Plan C. Uh, that's, I'm not even going to touch that one. Uh, I'll see you soon.